Uh, my name is Tak Mizoe. I'm the publishing producer from Namco Banda Games, uh, working on Dark Souls 2. Now Dark Souls 2, I, I had a chance to play this morning. I played for like two hours. Wow. Really stopped me. Okay. Um, I played a lot of Dark Souls. Uh -huh. And uh, immediately it becomes very apparent that the game has been designed to sort of counter things that players did in the first game. Well, um, it's it's tough to speak on behalf of the developers, yeah. but uh, based on discussions that I've had with Tani Murasan, who's the new director for Dark Souls 2, um, his main his main concentration is to obviously maintain the good elements of Dark Souls 1 and try to maintain the core essence of what Dark Souls um, involves, uh, but at the same time really enhance the features supporting that core essence to really purely de deliver that Dark Souls experience and anything that sort of gets in the way of that, um, anything that he felt that can be improved to again deliver that core element of Dark Souls. Um, he's really focusing on really working on the balancing of the game right now to uh, fulfill um, what the true Dark Souls 2 experience should be. The challenges and the difficulties will be maintained or even surpassed in Dark Souls 2. Um, the battle mechanisms are a little bit different. Um, the player actions move a little bit quicker. Um, the, flu the motions are a lot more fluid with the motion capture. Um, we've added a lot more different types of action with the players. Like we're hoping that all of those improvements will allow the players to sort of immerse themselves deeper into the role of the character and um, be more adaptable to the different types of play styles that the players actually have. Um, so the base mechanism will hopefully be very similar to Dark Souls 1, but the experience will be new and enhanced, hopefully. Can you talk at all about the structure of the game, like the progression structure in, in Demon's Souls originally? It was very like, divided into areas, and Dark Souls was more like a Metroid kind of game where you progressed fluidly from one area to another. How was uh, Dark Souls 2? Um, the, the mechanism for that, um, for Dark Souls 2, will be very similar to Dark Souls 1, whereas where, where the seamlessly connected um, areas uh, will still be present. But I think we want to focus a little bit more on the roleplay and a little bit more on the exploration um, aspect. For Dark Souls 1, we understand that we called it sort of a free exploration type of world, but there were certain areas that players weren't able to go to just because of the sole difficulty. Um, but for Dark Souls 2, we're hoping to expand on that and try to allow for a little bit more freer exploration so that players have more of a choice in terms of what order they want to conquer certain tasks. So, what about the scale of the world? The scale of the world is going to be fairly similar to Dark Souls 1. Um, there's no intent to make it double the size or triple the size. It was pretty big to be fair. Exactly, exactly. I think I think it was a... Um, we're, we're balancing the game right now, but I think the volume of the gameplay itself was um, positively accepted by a lot of the fans. What about character building? In the first game, you pick the base character and you could kind of morph it into whatever you wanted sure. for skill points. In the demo, you pick the four basic characters. Mm -hmm. um, are you hard locked into a character in Dark Souls 2? No, uh, for the sake of the demo, we did uh, provide some preset characters um, just so that you don't have to do a character customization every time you play the demo. In the actual game um, for Dark Souls 2, it will work fairly similar to what Dark Souls 2 or Dark Souls 1 had, uh, where you develop your own character. Um, we're hoping to provide more options for the players to create their character that better fits their fighting or battle styles. Um, but I think we're still in the tuning process and balancing process for that. And we'll be able to hopefully update um, a little bit more in the future. What about uh, multiplayer? Can you talk at all about how that works? Um, I can tell you that the base mechanisms of multiplayer, say the summoning or the invasions, all of that will work fairly similarly to what Dark Souls 1 did. I think that's the core element to um, the Dark Souls game itself. Um, but I'm assuming you're not talking about uh, humanity yet, how that works. I mean, um, do you still use humanity too? That's actually a good good question. I don't have I don't have an answer All for right. you for that right now. But um, in terms of the network playing, I can tell you that we're revisiting the covenants as well. Um, there will be similar covenants from Dark Souls 1 to Dark Souls 2, but I think there's going to be uh, new covenants um, for players to really take on the role-playing aspect. And Dark Souls 2 will be out in March of 2014. Keep your guts ready. Be prepared to die a lot, but make sure you don't give up. And um, there's always there's always that hint of light at the end. Um, so hopefully you can continue to strive for that.